What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. I am so, so happy to finally bring you this build. We are talking about the Storm Werewolf, Perma Werewolf Tornado build for the end game of Diablo 4. Okay, this is what I have been waiting for. I've been searching for five days to get the Tempest Roar and we finally got it. So I'm gonna showcase this build against the world boss and show you how freaking crazy it is. And But first, we're gonna go over everything that you guys need for the build, the gear, the spirit boons and abilities, everything that you need. We got about three minutes until we fight the world boss. So let's go over things fairly quickly. So with the world boss, or excuse me, with uh, your skill tree, this is all about being in perma werewolf form and going into dire werewolf, okay? So let's take a look at the abilities here so that way you guys can see them. So starting off, we are taking one point in Storm Strike into Enhanced Storm Strike so we have a chance to immobilize any and all enemies. This is uh, crucial to our build because we're going to be doing a lot of critical strikes and we need crowd control on this build. This build is going to all be, all be all about crowd controlling, immobilizing, stunning, doing crits for massive damage and just instantly and in infinitely spamming tornadoes. So then we come down, we're going to take one point in Heart of the Wild into Wild Impulses for more damage. Uh, we're taking maximum amount of points in Tornado. You can see we have rank 11 out of 5 because we are just dominating with our gear pieces into Enhanced, into a Raging Tornado, which makes enemies vulnerable. However, you could you could do this one to make them slow, but I like the vulnerability. Now we're going to come down to Predatory Instinct, instinct because we want uh, the crit chance at 6%, so we max that out. We are also taking uh, the Gaia tier because we want the increased movement speed here and it persists when leaving werewolf form. Although we're permanently in werewolf form, we're never going to leave. So we're gonna be very, very fast. Then we're gonna come down to our defensive skills, guys. We're taking Cyclone Armor into Enhanced to knock back and slow. And then we're also taking Persevering Cyclone Armor so that way we get the damage reduction, which is awesome because we're gonna be actually pretty tanky. Then we're maxing these two guys for three into Ancestral Fortitude for non-physical resistances, although resistances really don't do a whole lot. And then Vigilance for 15% uh, damage reduction when we pop Cyclone Armor or Bloody Howl. Then next, of course, we got Bloody Howl. We pop this so that way we get uh, heals and then we get a cooldown every time we kill somebody. And then Bloody Howl increases our attack speed for four seconds by 15%, which is huge. Allows us to like spam tornadoes even faster. Uh, we have no companion skills, so we're skipping that. We're coming down to Hurricane. Uh, we got Hurricane into Enhanced Hurricane. That also slows them for the crowd control effects, as well as enemies affected deal less damage. So with Cyclone Armor and Hurricane, enemies up close are going to deal like nothing damage. I mean, they do deal some, but we get a huge damage reduction for that. Now we are going to take Elemental Exposure for skills that deal damage against uh, Vulnerable. And then we have uh, Endless Tempest to increase the duration of Hurricane. We're coming down taking one point neurotoxin three points in in venom for critical strike damage against poison enemies which they will be poisoned with our abilities then we have one point in toxic claws for crit damage over poison damage for four seconds which is really cool and then we're coming down for our ultimate we have grizzly rage but we have gear that's going to make us a werewolf instead of a were bear so we get unstoppable fortify and then an increased damage and movement speed which makes us really fast the next, we're taking three points into these three categories. We get to heal when we pop all of our storm skills, which are nature magic. We get more damage against elites for 12%. And then we get uh, storm skills deal 12% increased damage to enemies that are stunned, knocked back, or immobilized, which they always will be. And then our big passive is earth and might to give us infinite spirit. And here we go. So you pop grisly rage, <clears throat> pop all of our stuff, and we're just going to spam... You see how fast we our mana just goes. We're just infinite. This is crazy. We just deal non-stop damage infinitely. Look at our spirit. It just doesn't go away. It just doesn't go away. Bam. And the world boss is absolutely freaking annihilated, ladies and gentlemen. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. What happened to the world boss? I don't know. But he's dead now. He's gone. He can no longer hurt you, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We got an Earth and Bulwark thing. We got this. We got that. So, you guys can see we have infinite spirit when we are in Grizzly Rage. Okay? And with Earth and Might, 
even though this says that earth skills we have a equipment which says that our storm skills also get this effect from earth and might so on crits because we are going to be critting everything and having a huge lucky hit chance with hurricane active as well as spamming tornado the reason for this is because both of these as you can see with hurricane you can see that this constantly spins and then so does tornado so you're getting multiple ticks tick 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 so the lucky hit chance being nine and then this one being 26 percent lucky hit chance we are getting a huge opportunity to absolutely trigger earth of might to restore all of our spirit so we can just spam infinitely like you guys just saw against the world boss now after all of our skills which is pretty dang awesome we're gonna go in and take a look at our spirit boons for this build there's a couple things that you could change but these are the ones that i like okay for the deer one we're taking awareness so that way we get the 10 percent damage reduction from elites because we are up close and personal we're going to be right in their face spamming everything however you could take advantageous beast to reduce the duration of um control impairing effects because you're going to be really tanky totally up to you, you i kind of go back and forth between these two it just depends because grisly rage is our only form of unstoppable to break cc so keep that in mind next under hawk we're taking um avian uh, wrath for 30 times or 30 percent Critical strike damage, huge. You almost never not take this. Uh, into our wolf, we're taking Calamity, extended duration of ultimate skills, which is going to be our Grisly Rage by 25%. Huge. And then down into the snake, we are taking our two points here, which is going to be Masochistic, crit strikes with shape-shifting skills, which is going to be all of our attacks. Uh, heals us for 3% of our max life. This is another reason why this build is super tanky. Then we have Calm Before the Storm, Nature Magic Skills, which is all of our skills. Uh, have a 10% chance to reduce the cooldown of our ultimate skill, Grizzly Rage, by two seconds. Now, I do want to preface, even after the uh, Spirit Boons and Abilities, you need cooldown. I'm working very diligently on getting cooldown on my gear um, to help keep Grizzly Rage up all the time. This is a very tough feat to do, but I'm working on it, and I will spend every gold piece that i have to do it because this is the build that i'm playing from 88 until 100 now let's go over the gear and everything that you guys need for this build because it does require a lot of pieces so first and foremost this is the biggest one that you need is tempest roar your storm skills have a 25 percent chance and i got a max roll on it by the way have a chance to grant four spirit so because of hurricane and tornado like we talked about that tick 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 to give us a chance to hit our lucky hit chance this is on top of earth and might which gives us maximum spirit it's absolutely flawless you 100 need this but more importantly the second skill is the key here your base storm skills are now werewolf skills next mad wolf's glee werewolf form is now your true form and you get plus two ranks to all werewolf skills, which all of our storm skills are now werewolf skills. So they're all plus two more ranks. This is what keeps us in werewolf form the entire time. Next, we have, of course, Tornado, right? This is the Storm Chaser Sovereign of uh, Vembrance. Tornado will seek up to three targets. This is huge. And we got a very, very good roll with plus three ranks on uh, the gloves, which is huge. Next, you have this one, uh, which gives us the Disobedience um, Legendary Power, which gives us 0.45% uh, increased armor for four seconds when we deal any form of damage, and it stacks up to 45%. You should almost always have this at max with all of our ticking and damage from all of our skills. Next, we have Ghost Walker. This gives us a huge movement speed advantage for 19% while we're unstoppable and increased move speed or the increased move speed and then we move freely through enemies. So while we're in Grizzly Rage, we have a huge move speed bonus so we're all over the place and we get to move freely. This is huge for just spamming, spamming, spamming. Our amulet. Crit strikes with core skills, which is going to be our tornado. I increase our attack speed by 24%. This is fantastic this just allows us to spam even more in our ring we have earth and might this is the second or third key ability earth and might passive also applies to your storm skills if you guys don't remember earth and might 
damage was with earth skills, which will now also be storm skills, has a chance to restore all spirit and cause our attacks to be guaranteed crit strikes for five seconds. Gigantic. Okay. And then the chance is increased uh, for crit strikes by 10% or at 10% if the target is stunned, immobilized, or knocked back, which we do all three of those. So next is the were beast rampaging were beast the duration of grizzly rage is increased by four seconds i didn't get a max roll and then in addition crit strikes while it's active increases our crit strike damage by 10 percent for the duration so each time we crit damage goes up and we do even more damage it's absolutely insane last but certainly not least is our weapon which is the dire wolf's aspect grizzly rage now shapes shifts you into a dire wolf and as a dire wolf, you gain increased movement speed of 46% and uh, movement speed. Uh, instead, Oh, so you get the movement speed instead of the damage reduction, which is okay. But then you also get a 92% spirit cost reduction bonus. In addition, kills heal you. So the 92% increased damage reduction bonus is huge or cost reduction. Excuse me. That also allows us to infinitely spam tornado. So not only do our, does our spirit just never go away, but it allows us to infinitely spam tornado. That is the key. Now, for those that don't know, typically what happens is, is you get the 20% damage reduction from Grizzly Rage, but because of our weapon, that goes away. So we get movement speed instead of damage reduction, but then we get spirit cost reduction, which is just insane as an addition. So these are the gear pieces that you need for the build. Now, if you don't want to do two-hand, you could separate this and do another ability if you really wanted to, like damage reduction while you're in werewolf form by like 20%, which is really cool, or just basic attacks, deal more damage, or uh, give you damage reduction. But this is the gear that you need for the build, guys. This thing absolutely slaps. All you do is pop Grizzly Rage, you pop Cyclone Armor, you pop Hurricane, and then you pop Bloody Howl. Every single time you kill big mobs, you pop Bloody Howl because you're going to continue to get the increased attack speed, which allows you to get more crits, and the cycle just keeps continuing. But I do have to note that you do have to have Grizzly Rage active for this build to work in its most effective form, which is why I say get cooldown reduction on everything that you can, and I'm working so hard for this. Now, in our Pulverize video, which I really do appreciate all the love, guys, we didn't really go over the... Uh, paragon board which i would like to do now for you guys now again i'm only level 88 so i'm just going to go over this briefly and just show you if you guys want to pause it or take screenshots you could definitely do that so in the beginning what we're doing is we're just going to go up this build is all about willpower dexterity and intelligence okay we don't care about strength right now so we're taking exploit this is a huge one to make enemies vulnerable and then we deal more damage against them while they're vulnerable for three seconds Make sure you get these two nodes here for 20% more damage, Impale and Resolve. We go all the way up into board two, which we're going to take Thunderstruck. Storm skills deal 30% times increased crit strike damage against enemies that are invulnerable or mobilized. They should always be this. The other rare node you're going to have is Tempest for more crit strike damage and vulnerable damage. Then we're going to come up and grab Deluge, more crit strike damage and damage against crowd control enemies. Then we're taking Werewolf as our second node. More damage while in werewolf form and damage reduction while we're in werewolf, uh, werewolf form. We're always going to be in these forms no matter what. Then we have hubris. Damage reduction uh, from vulnerable enemies, which almost every enemy should be vulnerable. And we deal more damage uh, while we're in werewolf form. Next is stormcaller. All of our damage is from storm skills. So we have that. And then more damage while we're in werewolf form. Then we come up to board three, which we're taking Feral. We'll eventually get this to 450 for the increased skill damage. Our other glyph is gonna, going to be uh, Undaunted, which we don't have to 15 yet. And we don't have enough points to get to the uh, second edition. But when you do, you'll have increased damage while fortified and more damage reduction to make you more tanky. We're having Lust for Carnage. This is a very, very important legendary node. Chris Strikes will Werewolf skills, which is our Storm skills. Will give us two spirit. This also helps us keep permanent spirit up. Over to our very last board. We're going to have Devastation, which I don't have the intelligence for yet. Nine away. But Nature Magic Damage Increase, which is all our Storm Skills. And then more damage to Elites. And then we'll get another percentage of Nature Magic Damage once that bonus is there. We're skipping Constricting Tendrils. We're not getting this Legendary Node. And for our last Glyph, we have Spirit at the moment. 
uh, for increased crit strike damage with core skills, which is Tornado. And then crit strikes increase the damage the enemy takes from us by 2% up to 20 seconds, up to a maximum of 12%, which is huge. Our other two last uh, rare nodes are going to be Nature's Will for more damage. And then Courage for max life and more willpower. So this is the Paragon board, guys. I'll go over it real slow just so you can kind of take pauses here and just look. So that way you can see it. And if you guys want to copy it, the link will also be down in the description. So yeah, that's the Paragon, guys. What you have right now up to 88. I think I'll update these up to 70 because most people are not past 70 yet. But that is there for you. This is the Storm Werewolf build. It is, to me, the best were or Druid build that you can play in the end game. It just absolutely slaps. High mobility, damage reduction, all that good stuff, guys. So, this is the build. Like the video if you guys have enjoyed it. Really like the video and comment down below if you like how much we just absolutely slapped the world boss. And comment, do all that good stuff. Make sure to subscribe if you guys are new. And as always, stay gaming, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.